The Owl Meter. Whether you are a human or a bee, there are a lot of things in the world that make you go ow. For humans, one thing is a bee sting. For bees, it might be a swat or maybe a big boot. So if you are a human, click on Human to take a trip with the Owl Meter to see what it feels like if you happen to get stung by a bee. And if you are a bee, click on B to see what it might be like for you when you come under fire. We've ranked all of the outcomes from 1 to 5, with 5 being the absolute worst. Ow! If after checking out the Owl Meter, you still think you might get stung, check out How to Avoid Getting Stung by a Bee for three simple steps to follow. There are many types of bees in the world, and while it is true that most bees don't want to sting you, we all know it does happen. Let's take a look at five different bees and see what it would feel like if they did happen to sting you. Contrary to belief, most humans are not bee killers. Humans don't have stingers, so we've rated a variety of objects humans use to try to protect themselves from bees. Select one of the human items above and see how their SWAT ranks on the owl meter. The Orchard Mason Bee The Orchard Mason Bee is usually slightly smaller than a honey bee and is a shiny dark blue in color. Keep an eye out for these guys in the fruit trees and in gardens by the radishes and strawberries. They also have an eye for dandelions. The Orchard Mason Bee is not aggressive and will only sting if it feels threatened. They really don't pack much of a punch. Being stung by one of these guys feels like a mild pinprick and rates a 1 on our owl meter. Ow! The Bumblebee Bumblebees are social insects that are characterized by black and yellow body hairs and are often up to 1.5 inches big. These guys love a good tomato, a fragrant lavender, and fresh rosemary. They are attracted to red clover and honeysuckle too. Bumblebees are not aggressive by nature, but will sting in defense or if harmed. These guys may look warm and fuzzy, but when they sting you, it feels like a hot match. They get a five on the owl meter. Ow! The leafcutter bee. The adult leafcutter bee is smaller than a honeybee, dark, often hairy, with a prominent pollen basket below. The leafcutter bee uses pieces of leaves or flower petals to construct their nests. You'll find leafcutters anywhere you have alfalfa, carrots, beans, strawberries, and melons. Leafcutter bees are not aggressive and have a mild sting. If you happen to get stung by these guys, it's said to feel like lightly brushing a thorn. We give it a 2 on the owl meter. Ow! The honeybee. Honeybees vary in size, but are usually about three quarters of an inch. The honeybees are the only living bees that produce and store honey. Some of their favorite places to hang out are in almond, apple, and cherry trees, as well as watermelon, cucumber, and sunflower fields. These little guys may seem sweet, but they pack a powerful punch. When a honeybee stings you, it feels like a deep paper cut. They rank a four out of five on the owl meter. Ow! The sweat bee. Their small size makes them relatively inconspicuous. They are most noticeable when they travel in swarms over a hundred strong. These guys like the simple stuff. No frills here. You'll find them in the meadows with the alfalfa, yellow-eyed grass, and dill. They get their name from the fact that they are attracted to sweat. Their sting does have a bit of a quick bite, like a spark. It rates a three on our owl meter. Ow! 
the dreaded toilet flush. This large, white, swirling, mysterious chamber holding liquid will make sure you never see the hive again. All human buildings have a room devoted to this device for getting rid of bees and things. The rooms are called bathrooms, though the toilet should never be used for bathing. Once you are trapped inside of a toilet, the tidal pool sucks you in all at once. Most bees don't survive this ride. You should avoid the toilet at all costs. It rates a three on the L-meter. Ow! Italian Vogue. You might think a magazine is for reading, but in fact, it could be fatal. The Italian Vogue is not just an ordinary magazine that people read. It is the mother of all fashion magazines. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Magazines are often found on coffee tables, in cars, and even by the toilets. You're fairly safe if the humans are looking at the pictures found inside. But as soon as you see them roll one up, you should get as far away as fast as possible. The Italian Vogue can be quite a slap. Few bees have ever escaped the swat of this molto grande magazine. We give it a five on the Almeter. Ow! Human Cars. Since the humans were not blessed with wings, they drive noisy smoke boxes to get from place to place. Cars are confined to the ground and travel on dotted paths called streets and highways. In large cities, you can see cars stopped in large lines forever, while bees buzz by overhead. This is called traffic. Very angry humans who never want a bee's company sit inside cars in traffic. There are a lot of ways for you to get in a car, but it sure is tough to get out. An easy way out is through an open window. You can also try going out through the car's exhaust system. Watch out for hybrids. They can be tricky. We give cars a two on the Almeter. Ow! The boot. These bad boys are large, leather, and sometimes terribly smelly. They're almost always found on human feet, but the ones you need to watch out for are the ones put on hands to function as an oversized swatter. Boots can be very deadly to an unprepared bee. You should look for boots with hive-like patterns and slip in between the cracks. Watch out. These are bound to hurt. The boot rates a four on the Almeter. Ow! Glass. Glass is tricky. You really can't be sure where it will appear. It is like an invisible wall. Moving glass, we'll call them windshields, are found on cars. The glass found on human houses, commonly known as windows, are used to trap you inside. Once inside, it is close to impossible to get out. The windshield can be your friend. You should fly in the direction it is traveling to avoid getting hurt. You should avoid windows in people's houses. It is important to be sure you are on the proper side of the glass. Almost always, your best defense is to just play dead to avoid further harm. We rate any kind of glass a one on the owl meter. Ow? How to avoid being stung by a bee. Contrary to belief, most bees don't sting. Stinging is fatal for most of them. They usually won't sting unless they feel threatened. If they do come after you, make sure and watch out for their stingers. There are many techniques that work to help you avoid being stung by a bee. Here are three simple steps to try to remember when you encounter a furry-eyed friend. First, stay calm and hope the bee flies away. He won't sting you. Freeze! Second, if that doesn't work, quickly run in the other direction. And finally, when all else fails, scream uncontrollably. Put your boots on your hands and open a window, hoping you've confused the bee enough to make him fly away, leaving all parties concerned safe and sound. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this.